Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Life with Allie Daily. I hope you enjoy what you see and what you hear. And subscribe to the channel. Okay, this is, this is me. I mean, so far I've just been trying to eat more vegan eggs. <laughs> But I'm a little bloated. My menstrual started yesterday. Okay. I still got rolls. Rolls and rolls. And I'm still like at that 200, which I feel like my hair is like three pounds. <laughs> Fake braids, I gotta take out. So we'll see. We'll see. Gotta go. Now let's take a closer look at the products. So here we are. I purchased the. 28 day detox yet my plan is to only do 14 days if I get to the 14 days at the end and I'm like you know what let's keep going then I'll keep going I'm actually hoping that I can do this whole mind over matter and you know get through it there's a little bit of the ingredients here is the information card that comes with the tea set and it tells you everything that you need as well. Look how beautiful this place was that I picked it up at. Here's the jars that I found at Target. And searching for water, I finally found two cases of water. At the Dollar Tree, woo, to get me started. So, again, here are the products that I am using. He said, um, natural spring water, so I got spring water from the Dollar Tree. I usually just boil water. A big tablespoon, not a measuring spoon. The jars, the mines are really big. They are not 32 ounce jars. They are actually 64 ounce jars. And instead of buying that metal reusable tea filler, I'm actually using the cheesecloth that I was just showing you. And there's my big tablespoon. And the cheesecloth, um, I'll just put it in between it to basically strain out the liquid and keep the herbs inside so yeah here is my pre-made tea I let it sit the night before okay good morning <laughs> um, the tea I'm gonna go with first is the tummy tea As you can see all the herbs for this one actually are sitting at the bottom they're not floating at the top the parasite tea They're all sitting at the bottom too, except I see a little debris at the top. I don't want that in my mouth. So, like I showed you, I am going to use my cheesecloth to cover and to strain it. My jars are 64 ounce jars, not 32 ounce jars. So that's why it's only half, okay? And I'm going to pour into this jar because you sit throughout the hour. Um, yeah, you sit throughout the first hour. It says drink four to eight ounces every 15 minutes. So 32 ounces. That's literally it. A quarter gone per 15 minutes. So I'm gonna take my time because today is day one. It's Friday, September 1st, 2023. Um, I'm going to make this video and probably just wait to upload it until after I finish my 40 days because I just don't want too many people coming in while I'm trying to do this for the first time. Um, I've done some a tea cleanse then because this is really a detox. He's, we're gonna out here, out here be feeling like drug addicts coming off of stuff. It really sugars. It's addictive. Cheese is addictive. As many times as I have gone quote unquote vegan, which is really vegetarian style, it's always the cheese for me. Oh, I gotta have my cheese. So yeah. But anyways, I'm going to put my cheese cross over this, strain it out, and then I'll do the first taste. Now to me. This tummy tea smells good. It's fall now. Like I would like this in the candle. Let this let this be in the candle and detoxify the home in the air. Any any germs and parasites in the air. Can we burn these leaves off? <laughs> I don't know, but it... oh Lord help me. Okay, see so look now I got my cheesecloth on there. Let's see. I'm gonna do this. I'm not even over the sink. See that? I told you I got more in there. I need to get all of that out. See? 
I'm not trying to make too many dishes up in here. I guess, I mean, it's mad. I could just drink it right through here, right? And that'll actually be the first, I mean, with all the tea at the bottom, with all the herbs to make the tea at the bottom. Um, let's just see. Oh, and let me clarify too. When I say burn off these herbs, I'm not talking about burning them off the spirit. Burn, burn off the, the stuff because it smells good. I probably could recycle these, let them dry back out. Has anybody ever done that with their tea? You know, because the only way to get rid of evil spirits is through the power and the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, amen. I'll be walking around here talking about some sage and crystals. They know for decorations and daggone scent. Tell y'all, mm. please, in Jesus' name, power. All right, that made it messy. Woo! I'm not gonna say it's bitter, but it's just strong. I mean, that because it's my bitter taste, but but actually, just it ain't haven't even hit the back of my tongue. That's where the bitter taste bud is, right? The back of the tongue. I haven't hit back there yet. Hold on, I really, I just realized too, I have my long white, um, what's it called? Coffee, my coffee canister, holder, container. I probably can feel one tea up in there. I'm gonna use that when I leave the house. This one, I have everybody ask me, what you drinking, what is that, and everything. There's a few people who know that I'm doing this tea. There's actually one girl who's actually one friend of mine who actually agreed to actually do it with me. But not because she's doing it with me for support. She's doing it because she also needs this herself. So, um, I can't wait to just be able to... I'm excited for all the things. My why list is, is long, okay? Um, the things in my body itself besides just weight. I mean, weight is one symptom of different parasites and candidas this could be in my body right now mind you like I said I've already been eating some days I've been eating like a, a straight-up vegan and others like a vegetarian I slowly started reducing down throughout August getting myself mentally back after my nephew left and I was like look all this junk look at that they just sitting there I like, you know, I like to give y'all thorough videos up in here. The life of Allie. I want y'all to feel like y'all are here in here with me. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna drink the rest of this. And then sip the rest throughout the hour. Good. Ooh. I feel like there's a mint that's trying to come through. Woozy. It's very earthy. <laughs> it's very earthy. The, the, but the thing about it is, if you, okay, when I drink coffee, I'm like, give me the cream, give me the sugar, give me the flavor. But when I drink green tea, ginger tea, I mean, tea. When I drink teas, tea bags, oops, tons of teas, turmeric, vanilla flavors, plain black tea. I can drink, well, plain black tea, I may want a little bit of honey or something in it. But I can drink teas, regular teas, with no sweeteners or nothing. So thank you, Jesus, because I heard, when I watch a lot of videos, I like to, what helps me is to listen to other people's reactions and it has helped me to um, basically uh, prepare myself mentally. Okay, everybody's saying it's nasty, it's nasty, it's nasty. But because I have a color in the background, being in restaurants, having to try so many different types of foods, having to try tons of dry wines, okay? Like that was my career. Being a kitchen manager, being a beverage manager, okay? Being a front of the house manager in school, all the things, and then having a season where I actually used to drink, and I'm gonna drink heavily, and I would be the mixer and all this stuff, you know? Um, 
I can smell something and tell what it's gonna taste like. So like I said, this smells really good and it smells earthy and it smells like fall. So what you know what? This drink, it tastes like fall. <laughs> it tastes like all the fall things all at once, okay? So yeah, yeah. But you know what? What did he, what did um, Dr. What, what did Dr. Price say? My taste buds is what actually got me here. So I need to, something. I'm about to miss hold on. I messed it up. But it's my taste buds that got me here. So my taste buds about to get me out. So we gonna fix all of that. But I'm excited, y'all. I think I'm going to make myself a smoothie. I know I am going to make myself a smoothie. And I'm gonna try, try to stay as raw as possible. I do have a little bit of um, my vegan sausage patty left. This is day one. I am gonna cook that off. And that'll be more like a lunch, dinner, a dinner type thing, lunch and dinner. Because honestly, because I've been reducing down how much animal, or reduce down my animal, um, intake um i haven't been needed to eat as much i have just been like yeah and then i'm ending my menstrual too fyi if that matters for anybody um so we'll see one symptom of some people in their menstrual can be um not diarrhea but constipation or just one thing for me, when I have my menstrual, I don't really get headaches per se. I get a little bit. It's a tiny bit. And I don't really get crampage. Okay? I don't cramp up like that. But I do poop. <laughs> okay? So, hey, I get a lot from you this morning in this video. A lot more than I planned on saying. So, yeah, there it is. I took my first sips. It is. And my morning right now for this is the afternoon. It's like noon. Let me see. On this phone, it says it's, it's one o'clock. I've been playing Mr. Snooze today, but I was up. I was up there laying and baby girl came into my room. I mean, dad, that's gone. He's at work. It's okay. She's fine. That's my baby. That's my poop poop. So I was actually laying in with her and praying read some scriptures, you know, start. That's how I like to start my day. I know you say start your day when you wake up or whatever, a cup of tea. And I got to prepare this down here, but honestly, I don't even normally eat until late in the afternoon. So, why not? And I'm a late owl. Like, I be up late. I work late. I was still making cookie dough. I made, what, four batches of cookie dough last night and then finished until 1.30 in the morning. Okay? I had to leave the house yesterday. So, that's my lifestyle. Some of y'all may be watching this like, what in the world? Y'all get up. Y'all have to take these teas with y'all. Um, we're gonna see. I'm gonna try to do a, a little snippet. Yes, I'm gonna wait before I upload this. I'm gonna put this together, but I'm gonna try to give y'all a little bit after my first week and kind of come in and say what I've experienced. Okay, because there's a lot of symptoms that could happen, as he states on this card. Okay, Dr. Bobby Price. These states on this card that comes with your tea. I ain't gonna go through all of it right now, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure I save video footage. All right, so that's my intro into the tea, the detox. I am starting off again, like I said, with the tummy tea. Cheers. bathroom by the time I was done with it. I took a little bit more than an hour to sit through it and um, tea number two is right here. Please don't mind my baby girl's room. I'm about to put these clothes away. Um, it's lighter. It doesn't smell as strong. It actually smells like, I don't know, like a, a, an essential oil I'm trying to think of but I'm about to run out of space in my phone because I already tried recording this and it cut off on me. I did however just eat, I just however just ate one muscadine grape. I have two more here. Because I haven't eaten any food since, but I've already had a good poop, so I'm glad. But here's here's the taste of it on try. Okay, this one is definitely stronger. Even though the smell is lighter, it's stronger. I'm glad I'm drinking the parasite one last. How about that? I was told through his video you can suck on oranges while drinking, I guess this one or whatever to get to help the flavor. I'm just gonna eat my grapes and I'm gonna make my smoothie after. 
Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really pray that if you have not tried this detox, then try it. This is my first time doing this. I've done some tea light cleanses before, but this one, A1. Peace and many blessings.